if you want an ultra boost model that stands out the ultra boost mid is a great option the ultra boost mid is designed for rugged use this specific colorway is similar to the famous kit edition the PrimeNet upper offers a much comfortable fit than your regular 4.0. It is not that snug and feels more cozy. The side guard is like a plastic material to prevent water splashes from entering the net. The sock-like design gives a comfortable lockdown. In comparison with the UltraBoost ATR, the UltraBoost ATR is much worth it considering the overall quality and functionality of the model. It has a better sock-like design for a cold weather, water repellent for a mild rainy day, and a rugged continental outsole for different types of terrain. So, is the UltraBoost Mid worth it for $220? Yes, it is overpriced. However, it is still worth it if you're a hardcore UltraBoost user. Also, this Mid version looks great compared to a regular 4.0. On the other hand, if you're on a budget and not willing to pay $220 for a running shoe, the best option will be the PureBoost RBL, also known as the PureBoost Mid. The Pure Boost RBL is splash resistant, has a comfortable fit, enough boost construction, and a great hill structure. Totally worth it for $160, 8,500 pesos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome again to another video and to all the new subscribers, thank you for supporting the channel and if you haven't yet subscribed, please do because I have an ongoing giveaway. I'm going to give away a Pure Boost Go model in your own size. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Yes, this year Adidas is doing a good job on re-releasing some of the popular models such as the Ultra Boost V2 Multicolor and Reflective. I didn't expect that they will release this specific colorway and it's similar to the kids, friends, and families. Now, yes, it's a bit pricey for $220, 12,000 pesos, and I would say the ATR is much more worth it because it is better in, in terms of performance because it is good in different kinds of weather condition and overall in different kinds of terrain. However, this one has better performance and a much comfortable fit compared to the ATR and the Ultra Boost 4.0. I like how it is not that snug, it's just cozy because it has a different kind of, of prime net pattern. As you can see, it's, it is not similar on the 4.0 and the ADRs. And the overall fit is really good in terms of how comfortable it is when you use it for running. The overall lockdown on the hill is just, just it's just nice. It's not that tight. It's just nice how it closed in. And I didn't expect the the I didn't expect how it feels because as I remember the prototype edition, I don't like the prototype edition because overall the fit of the prototype is 
it's too snug and it's uncomfortable for walking however this one stands out because of the overall feel of it when you use it that's why for me for 12,000 pesos $220 it is totally worth it by the way this is not my pair this is just a sponsored review because this is for Sir Jetron again thank you sir for sponsoring this video and making things happen in this channel this is not my pair I, I have a lot of ultra boost and I can't buy and buy a lot of ultra boost every week so Sir Jetron, make things happen in this channel. Thank you, sir, for always supporting, providing reviews for this channel. So, there you go, guys. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you like it. And if you're thinking of buying one, uh, go grab this if you have enough money. This is totally worth it. In case that you're thinking if you will pull the trigger for $220 for 12,000 pesos, yes. This is worth it. Thank you guys for watching. See you on another video.